My dear mother, I have been intending to write you for a long time, but numerous things have prevented, and for that reason you must excuse me. I thought very hard of you for not writing to me, but hope that you'll answer this letter as soon as you receive it. I want to hear the family at home very much indeed. I really believe that you and all the family have forgotten me. If not, I certainly should have heard from some of you since you left Boyton, if it were only a line. Nevertheless, I love you all very dearly and shall, although I may never see you again. Nor do I expect to. I have often wished I lived where I knew I could never see you, so that then I would not have my hopes raised and be disappointed in this manner. But it is said that a bad beginning makes for a good ending. Though I hardly expect that I'll see that happy day in this place. Give my love to all the family, both white and black. I was very much obliged to you for the presents you sent me last summer, though it's quite late in the day to be thanking for them now. Tell Aunt Bella, I'm very much obliged to her for her present. I've been so particular with it that I've only worn it once. There have been six weddings since October. The most respectable one was about a fourth night ago. I was asked to be first attendant, but as usual, with all my expectations, I was disappointed. For on the wedding day, I felt more like being locked in a three-cornered box than attending a wedding. About a week before Christmas, I was bridesmaid for Ann Nash. On the night of the wedding, I was in quite a trouble. I did not know whether my frock was clean or dirty. I had only a week's notice and the body and sleeves to make, and only one hour every night to make it. So as you can see, with these troubles, my chances were rather slim. I must close now. Don't forget me, though, and answer my letter soon. I will write you again, and would write more now, but Miss Anna says it's time I had finished. Tell Miss Elizabeth I wish she'd make haste and get married, for Mistress says that I belong to her when she's married. I wish you would send me a pretty frock this summer. If you send it to Mrs. Robertson's, Miss Bett will send it to me. Farewell, darling mother, your affectionate daughter, Elizabeth Hobbs.